Hi hey guys, today I am going to explain how to download and configure the Ember server in the Eclipse So, I am considering that the pre-request uh, as a, the, uh, the JDK already installed and the Eclipse is available in the server project also it is configured uh, These three steps I uh, am considering as a pre-request so I am assuming that uh, the existing uh, the um, web publication is available in the text. So, so today I am going to explain only that how to download the JPL server uh, from Red Hat uh, website and uh, how to co configure it in the Eclipse. So, uh, that is what we are going to see today. So, as a first step, we need to uh, we can we need to download the JPL server. So we can download the JPL server from uh, Red Hat website. So since that is Red Hat product, so we can download it from Red Hat. Okay, in the Red Hat website. So uh, the developer. View downloads uh, was enterprise application platform. So in this, uh, so I'm going for uh, community edition. So click on that uh, community edition. So here that it will show that uh, available downloads. So these are that uh, community product. Uh, so provided by Red Hat. So, so I'm going for a uh, word play server. So this word play is nothing but it's a JPAS uh, server. So it's a name uh, after JPAS 7, they named as uh, word play server. So I'm going for this since I'm using uh, JDK 8, so uh, which will support. Uh, Play server so JPA 7 will support up to JDK 7. So uh, since I'm using JDK 8, I'm going for the good play server. So it's nothing but a JPA server. So I'm uh, uh, good for the stable person. So so this will. Uh, for in JKW full version, I'm going to download. So, uh, as a zip file, uh, 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 we can download it from here. So, so since uh, so I have already downloaded and completed that uh, my in my local system. So, uh, I'm going to use that. So, the server is already downloaded. Once it downloaded, then we can extract. We have to extract. Okay. Now, once it's uh, extracted, then now we can configure it from the Eclipse. So, I'm, I'm going to open my Eclipse. So, I'm using Eclipse Portal, which is latest version, which will support uh, DDK. JDK and Eclipse uh, is already installed as a pre uh, request for this video. Uh, this is my existing project I exported from uh, SPM. So okay, now I'm going to configure. Uh, JPOS server. So the Eclipse will click, right click, and it 
JBoss will come up with the default uh, server plugin plug tools like uh, default plugin, the Apache Tamkit, uh, uh, it, it will come as a end build and uh, this, uh, some basic uh, basic server uh, tools, the integration tool will come up. So, but uh, JBoss uh, community uh, to, uh, tools will not come as by default. Okay. So, we have to download the JBoss, JBoss tools to integrate uh, integrate our JBoss uh, uh, application server in the Eclipse. So, it's required to download uh, download uh, download JBoss tool. So we can download it from the tools JBoss or watching website. This select downloads. Then I'm going for uh, this is the latest version showing it here. The latest stable version 4.9. Uh, we have to select uh, based on our Eclipse uh, version. So I'm going for uh, all downloads, overview, overview of all downloads. So here it will show the uh, few latest version, uh, respective. Uh, JBoss tools and uh, Eclipse and uh, Eclipse version. So I uh, since I'm using the JBoss Portal 4.8.0, so I'm uh, I'm going to download uh, this uh, JBoss tool integration stack 4.6.0.5 final. This is a stable version, so I'm going to download. So we can, uh, they have provided three options. So I'm going for this uh, artifact options. That means uh, I'm going to download that all uh, JBoss, uh, JBoss tool integration tag as a zip file. I'm going to download it and from uh, an outline, I'm going to install it in the clip. So, uh, so we can download it from here. So I have already downloaded and kept it here. So I'm going to use that. So the JBoss tools 4.6.0 already downloaded the, uh, the standard integration stack. So once it's downloaded, then we can install it uh, from the Eclipse. So once it's downloaded, then we can uh, uh, go to help and uh, inst uh, install new software. And uh, give uh, name like uh, JBoss so, uh, JBoss tool tool and uh, we can give it any name and uh, here uh, we have to select our zip uh, files so, so uh, no need to extract so just we can uh, keep it as a zip file so you just select the zip and then add so once it uh, added then it will show that our uh, so uh, it will show all those integration tools so, so we are not going to use all those things so i'm, uh, I'm going to use only the jbos um, server integration tool that i mean uh, So since I'm using uh, uh, will play server, so I'm uh, I'm going to select this, then click next, uh, next, and uh, 
they get stunned. So we can do this. So once it uh, installs the JFOS tools, it's available uh, to it. So now uh, we can uh, we can configure our JFOS server. So right click new server, click on new server, and same. So then from the JFOS community, after installing that JFOS tools, this integration tool will come out. JFOS community tool uh, option will, will, will come out. So then. Since I'm using WordPress server, so I am selecting this uh, 10, so play 10 uh, version. So uh, I select local, so I'm configuring, configuring the server as local, then I so I'm selecting the local. Then next, so if you don't want to add any. In so once it's configured the server, the server then we can we can start can stop the server from the eclipse itself. So so I'm going to start the server now. Server up and we can server I can able to start. So then after that, after, after that, then we uh, we can build our uh, war pipe. And this is my one build, so I'm going to run uh, to build the war pipe. So now the application is on. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post it in the comments.